Yo Oilers, it's your boy Will here, and I'm sorry, but it's that time again for another episode of Campus Update. To kick this episode off, we wanted to cover some sports. Since we weren't sure what team to talk about, we had Drake pick one randomly out of a hat. I hear we're pretty good at this one. With the start of the boys volleyball season, I went to go check out how prepared the team is for their upcoming season. Volleyball is such a unique sport because um, you have to have everyone involved in each play the whole time. You can't just have one guy like dominating the whole match. Our goals are obviously to win league and CIF, but to be, to be a great team this year, we're going to have to be a good serve and pass team. Volleyball is a unique sport because it's super fast paced and there's not a lot of breaks in between, or short breaks. But it takes everyone on the team and it's a lot of quick thinking and, and just reaction sport. Our key to having a strong team is definitely going to be staying together. We don't have any superstars and we don't have the same level of skill that we've had before, so uh, being together as a team is going to be really important for us. Uh, my goals for this season are to win league and win CIF, but if that's not possible, just staying together as a team and, and working hard and getting as far as we can go. Yeah, I'm going to be continuing my volleyball career at Long Beach State, so I'm super excited about that. I'm most excited to play against Newport Harbor and Corona Del Mar just because we've had some existing rivalries between them and it'll be fun and high level and interesting. Come support Ryan Bevington and the team tomorrow we play Survive at 6. Thanks Drake, that sure to spike some interest in volleyball. Speaking of interesting, the APA Festival Orchestra performance is happening on Thursday, March 8th from 1pm to 9pm. This huge event includes multiple high schools from around Orange County performing at the Renee and Henry Seegerstrom Concert Hall. If you want to experience something new, you should go and check it out to support our musicians. I tried to come up with a segue to this next segment for about 9 hours, but I gave up, so here's a look at the new club on campus, the Super Smash Bros Club. I was introduced a while ago when um, I saw, saw my friends playing Melee. Uh, it was actually, they were holding a tournament for it and I decided to go. We meet uh, Fridays at lunch in DeWild's classroom. So we hold. Uh, we hold two kind of stations or more than that if other people bring their Wii U's and Wii's. Uh, we have a fun playing where it's eight player smash, everybody gets to play. And then we have our competitive scene where it's 1v1s, uh, normal, normal rules, final destination. It's because it's fun and it's also competitive. It really draws everyone together for something that everybody likes to do. You should join because it's the best club. We're the best, we, since we meet on Fridays, then it's kind of like a relaxing thing to do at the end of the week. Also, we pl just play video games. It's almost like it's an excuse to play video games, even though we're competitive. Roy's my boy. Those guys look like a bunch of noobs. Speaking of noobs, Linker is doing their best to help America's most infamous noobs, freshmen. Here's some more information on the awesome stuff Linker does to smooth the way into being an oiler. Link Crew is made up of a bunch of junior and senior leaders who want to help mentor the freshmen and get them incorporated into the high school. We have the big uh, events that we do, the first one being orientation. That's when we actually introduce all the freshmen to the school and pair them up with the leaders and get everyone kind of into group. We plan a lot of activities for both freshmen and for the rest of our HBHS students. We're known for our cookies and cram, which is held on the Wednesday before our exams. We have one coming up on June 6th that everyone can attend from 2 to 6.30 p.m. in the Student Center, where you can use your resources, study, and have some snacks before your exams. In addition to that, we also have the Link Crew's first annual egg hunt. That's going to be on the Friday before spring break. And it's open to all students so that they all have an opportunity to win our awesome gifts. If you're a junior or senior, you can join Link Crew, and there's just an application you have to fill out with a link. It's a really awesome opportunity to kind of get in touch with everyone on campus. In addition, you can kind of uh, teach other kids what you've learned throughout your years here at Huntington Beach High School, and kind of just become like a big brother or big sister to other people. It's a real cool opportunity to make new friends. If you're interested in Link Crew, I would definitely say join. It's a really great time. You get to meet lots of new people. Not only do you get to meet a bunch of freshmen and see like their excitement of joining high school but you also get to meet a lot of other people who are juniors and seniors that are just as excited to help other people as you are. Dang that's pretty fresh man. Let's link that segment with something more tasty. That's right birthday cookie grams. They are still available to brighten the day of anyone with a birthday. Go to hbhsfoundation.org and buy one for $20. They get delivered the last Thursday of the month by ASB. Tell your mom or something so you can get cookies and help raise money for classroom stuff. I'm probably going to pronounce some of these wrong, sorry, 
but please join us in giving a birthday shout out to Adam Kargasaki. Adam Kargasachi. Adam Kargasachi, Ali Faubert, Giselle Gotchman, Landon Gotchman, Jaden Moore, Lauren Harvey, Julia Kahn, Ashley Berdellis, Reina Sicaccio, Nick Sicaccio, and Cole Minato. Also, a half birthday shout out to Allison Stauffer. Now, I will magically change clothes and teleport across campus to find Max and do another. What's up, gamers? It's Hall Talk. This one, we added something special. We're gonna use a random word generator, generate three different three different words. We have to make sure that we use all three of those words as we're talking, and if we don't, then uh, you're a big loser. How often do you watch Campus Update? Every week. Every week. Can I, uh, by chance, convince you to uh, watch it more often? No. Can I sentence? <laughs> Can I sentence you to watch it more often? Can I convince you to come to Film Club Tuesdays at 31? Oh, plug, plug. I feel like a big loser. Two out of three ain't bad. Nice to meet you. Uh, teach us about yourself. Do you want to be me? Yes, teach us how to be you. You got to get really curly hair. Can I say hi to my mom? Yeah. Hi, mom. <laughs> Is your mom watching on a tablet? No, my mom actually, uh... No, I can't say that on camera. Well, goodbye, Nico. Bye-bye. I'm gonna continue on my quest. Good luck. I'm sorry I haven't been much help. Cake Zone Association. Oh my god. Do you by chance associate with the Cake Zone of America? No. I did it. Okay, I'm done. It's the Cake Zone Association. Uh, how did you acquit these, uh, chips? Uh, I got them in the cafeteria. Aaron, I hope you don't crop these chips out of the frame. Whoever's editing this, crop out the chip, blur out the chips no, so we never know what they are. Well, good luck. Okay. I will take a taxi okay, back home. Okay, what is uh, your opinion on the new Snapchat update? Uh, it's about as good as leftovers. But uh, what if I it. like leftovers? Uh, then you have a terrible opinion. Uh, well, I'm going to have to uh, refer you to I will not settle <laughs> for bad leftovers. I give many cares about this. Wait, we have to use words in the outro. Uh, are we in agreement that uh, this ep this segment is ending? Yeah, don't worry about it. What is the other one? Formation! <laughs> That's all for this week, Oilers. And remember, everything in this world either is a potato or isn't a potato.